Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. I have been solving math problems for GRE out of this book here, practicing to take the GRE general test, the 10th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase it immediately. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you're going to find on page number 302. GR, this is the tag that you want to use if you want if you if you want to look for something. GRE dash 10E, 10E for the 10th edition, page 302. Quantitative comparison, that's that's what QC stands for. Quantitative comparison, number three. Let's take a look at it. Number three. Again, uh, as I, as I always remind you here, these are, these are, this, this, this exam that you're holding in your hand, this book that you're holding in your hand, it's an it's a old format, the paper and pencil format, where all the questions were arranged in the order of difficulty. Here there are 15 questions, they are arranged in the order of difficulty, 1 through 15. Number 3, on a, on a scale of 1 through 15, obviously it's a very easy question. The first 5 are easy, the next 5 are medium, and last 5 are supposed to be difficult. 85% of the people who took the exam, 85% got it right because it's a straightforward question. They tell you that x is 4. Well, if x is 4, they ask you how much is 3, three times x squared. Well, 3 times x squared is 4 squared. 4 squared is 16. 16 times 4 is just 48. It's very simple. And in the other column, they give you 140. 144. Of course, b is bigger. That's all. Of course, 144 is bigger than this. The answer is B. That's all. We're done. Very simple, very straightforward. As I said, 85% of the people got it right. What I'm always trying to figure out is what happened to the other 15%. They got it wrong, not necessarily because they did not know how to do it, but sometimes people make careless mistakes. They get too cocky, too careless. Happens to the best of us. Happens to me, happens to everybody. Uh, that's one thing that you cannot afford. You cannot afford to be careless, especially on the easy questions. Let's do next, next one. Let's, let's do number four. Question number four. In question number four, they're simply asking you how much is x. And they give us a triangle. This is x. This is 44. This is 44. Again, this is very straightforward, simple, because we know that the sum of the angles, we know the sum of the angles, SUM sum of the angles in any triangle, in any triangle, equals 180. In any triangle, doesn't matter what, what shape the triangle is, uh, tri as long as it has three types, any picture with three sides in it will have angles that will add up to 180. It's just, that's just how it is, that's how the convention is. If this is 180, this one is 44, this one is 44, you subtract the 44 and the 44. 44 plus 44 is 88. 180 minus 80 would have been 100, so 180 minus 88 should be 92. If my math is correct. 92, what do we have in the other column? Oh, 88. That's your column A. This is your column B. Of course, 92 is bigger than 88. That's all. We're done. Nothing to it, as I said. They're, they're simple, very straightforward. Listen, if you wish to get hold of me, I hope, I hope you found this helpful. If you wish to get hold of me to help you with, uh, with your preparations, I do private tutoring, I do face-to-face -face tutoring, personal tutoring, I tutor over the phone or over the Skype on the internet. Or if you wish to buy the solutions to any of these problems, I, uh, you can purchase solutions to all of these problems from me in the form of DVDs that I sell. Uh, if you need to get hold of me for any of those reasons, go to my website at www.prep, P-R-E-P, prep, F-O-R-4, GRE.com and send me an email. All right? Or you can go to www.keshwaniprep.com. Okay? Thanks.